So, the main reason why it's great to be alone is because most people do not love themselves. That would be my dead husband, dead Theodore Carl Samuel. Ah, the father of my two children did say that he loved himself. It seemed like he loved himself. But, um, the awful things that he did, I can't see how he loved himself. So, I people lie all the time. So they're lying to themselves that they love themselves. Pretend a lot narcissist definitely absolutely hates himself. But he lies to me. Yeah. Oh, I, I love myself. I want you to have a good life and I want you to you know, I I loved myself when I was thirty seven. And I always love myself and try to look out for me and like, yeah, I don't go in other people's um a stranger's place. I mean, why would I go subject myself to that? I was already subjected to so many hells walking into the person's place. It's bad. Bad news. And Pretend I Want Narcissist was the worst <laughs> monster in my life. Because he knew everything about me. And he did everything that my husband did to me. Because he could. You know, he he's very smart. And he knew all my abuse. And he's just like, oh, I can just abuse her the same way. And do everything that, you know, they did to abuse her. And I can abuse her more. And that's, what he, that's exactly what he did. And so much denial. So, yeah, you just never ever go into another person's place. Ever. And that's the really sad thing about poor people. They have no choices. I, I mean, it's just so... People make no sense at all to say, Oh, well, it's all your fault. You know, that... You know, um... There's so many wrong sayings. Uh, you know, like... Uh, a person the I, I said this a million times. Um, give a person six months... And if they ain't get it together by then, just forget about it. Unless, you know, unless, you know, they have, uh, like, my, I have really, really bad arthritis now. Really bad. Okay. Uh, it depends on their circumstances of the state of health that they're in. I, I you know, I, I needed my teeth out in 2016. I would have had them out. My phone was hacked. And that money, I would have, I would have had dentures. I would have taken. I would. It's just too negative for me to think about. Oh my god. I could have went on vacation for the first time with my boys. I could have bought my boys a place to live, me and my boys. And yeah, I know, grown children don't like their parents, so it would be like separate quarters. You know, it's like. This is your half of the apartment, if it's an apartment, and that's my half. This is my room, and you guys, I'm giving, you know, that room and the kitchen area and the bathroom, and I'll use that, but, you know, I'll, you guys do what you want, and I'll leave you alone, like a, a good, respectful parent should do. They shouldn't be all up in their child's business, going through every single paper, that they have, seeing what the, is going on. No, they should respect them. Respect is, uh, people don't have, res there's like barely any respect out there. I, I mean, there's so many people that go through all your belongings. And I hate pretending about narcissists because that's what he did. I mean, he was so obsessed with me going through everything. And he stole my husband's uh, bank statement. That's why I had to go to Lancaster Police way back then. And he, he won't admit to it. He stole his account number and, his, you know, the important numbers. And I, I was like, oh, my God, he went through my husband's. So I'm worried about my husband getting out of jail, beating me up. And I'm like, oh, my God, you had to decide to call the cops. And I mean, I'm like, this asshole... But, you know, he still, he, he kept all my belongings in his car, and, and then now he finally gave them back, and, you know, I don't have that 
paper to my husband. I'm worried about, you know. And they they just like, they can't do anything in a bank anyway. I mean, you have to have more information than just the numbers. But they were like, well, you could, you just call that bank and you tell them, you know, what that person did. And, and pretend all narcissists just lie. Oh, I did not go through your belongings. You make up stories. I'd never do that. I love you. I want the best for you. I want to help you. I want to help. Help. Help you go insane. I, I need, I need, I need to help you to go insane. I need, I want you to go insane. I need to help you go insane today. Can I please help you? Please? <laughs> it's awful. And that's what all narcissists say. And yeah, I, you can just use the word abuser because abuser is like... Whatever. It's easier in the brain. Abuser. Everyone knows what an abuser is. Yeah, abusers do that all the time. I want to help you. I'm just here for to help you out. Oh my god, what a lie. Disgusting lie. So, I'm glad that, you know, I stood up for myself, but not that well on the phone, because we were... Whatever. Um... <laughs> now I know why he's a loner. And he doesn't have a girlfriend. I mean, most men should not have girlfriends. And uh, he basically... Yeah. Um, people are okay to talk to him fans about it. Yeah. Like, whatever. You know, uh, I'm just too nice of a person. I'm probably wasting my time. Big time. Well, I mean, it, like, we're never gonna go out. He doesn't... I mean, he should have uh, got it together. Now I, you know, learn a little bit more negativity and I don't want to. I, you know, it's just like, yeah, if a person wants to get it together, then they get it together. If they can live with someone and, you know, uh, give up smoking, you know, it's better than living out in the woods. I mean, my God. You know, or yeah, yeah, just smoke once a day like I do, and like whatever, away from the house or whatever the rules are. Uh, whatever. He, it's just too. Um, there's, you know, a, a person's hamless can be. Uh, a good reason, like my reasons, or a bad, you know, grown adults, it's like, my god, you know, you're living out in the woods, go to the damn mission. Holy shit. I mean, it's that bad. Go to the mission. I mean, my god. I'd never, ever live outside. I, I, I can't see how they can actually do it, especially, like, in the rain. The rain recently. They don't have any shelter. It's just crazy. It's totally craziness. Go to the damn shelter. You know? Oh my god. It's just a nutcase. Uh, no, it's okay. No, it's not okay. It really ain't. No, it's not okay at all. Whatever. Uh, to, to have to work like four days a week and you've been working, like, where's your money at? So, I don't care, none of my business, but, my God, you're not paying, you know, that's a big red flag right there. Like, okay, just forget it. <laughs> that's fucked up. Totally fucked up. So, whatever, um, yeah. I love myself, and it's good to stay by yourself. And, uh, I... Guys don't mean anything to me anymore. I, well, I mean, if, you know, it's a good, you, you have to talk, like, longer than a day, obviously. Uh, you, you gotta, um, 
And then, like, pretend about narcissists, uh, pull the wool over all these people's eyes. The wool over their eyes. Um, everyone at church, I mean, I don't know how long he's gone to that one church, and, you know, pretend about narcissists has, has them all snowballed and scammed. They all think he is an okay guy, and I'm the worst woman, evil woman that ever walked the planet, and I make up stories, and I'm crazier than hell. They believe all him, all his shit. He goes there, and he manipulates the master manipulator liar, tells them a whole bunch of shit. I, I, I hate liars. I really do. Go to the bathroom.